What's up guys, Patrick, Art Storefronts. So let's go about the LTV audience creation from scratch, um, step by step, walk you through it, demystify it. Uh, let's let's get rolling. So I'm in an ads manager now. This should be what your ads manager looks like when you get into it. And I'm gonna go up here to the left and I'm gonna go ahead and select audiences. All right. Now I'm gonna go create audience, custom audience. And you can see here's all the, the uh, various different options you can choose. And we're gonna select customer file and we're gonna go including LTV for better performing lookalike. So let's select that one. Now you notice here that there's the download file template. So you can start just right by downloading this thing uh, right when you're getting started if you're so inclined and I've, I've done so already. So let me, this is just kind of how it comes out. I've already started cleaning it up a little bit. Um, and so let me just kind of talk briefly about some things in here. Um, you probably don't have three emails per person, do you? So let's delete that column. I think in some cases you guys might have two. Uh, for some people, you know, maybe you have their personal email and maybe you have their work email and you're not really sure which one that they signed up for Facebook with. So go ahead and include both of those. In terms of phone numbers, Depending on how old school you are, you might have a mobile, you might have a home number. So I can I can see where two numbers would come into play. Practically speaking, I'm going to delete the third one. And you know, in most cases, some of this will be blank. It's okay. It's okay if your if your data set's incomplete, right? Like if you've been uh, gathering uh, um, you know uh, records for years and and you've got kind of some holes. Some are complete and full, and you have all these columns, and some you don't, and that's totally okay. Now, one thing. Um, one thing I remember. Would you bear with me for just a second, please? I love I love that I can just press these buttons. Anyway, address address is not come into it. I thought address did. The actual address, the physical address, doesn't come into play. So I just remembered that, and yeah, I wanted to mention that. M A D Madid is mobile advertiser ID, I believe. And we don't need that column. We're going to delete it. F N is what they call first name. L N is what Facebook calls last name. Now, if you're if you're already making your own sheet and, and and you just did first name and last name and you had that typed in there, that's okay. Facebook's still going to recognize it. And you'll see when we match it up; it's not an issue. Uh, zip code is is in there. So while physical address is not, zip code is, and it gives you the templates here for you know if they're in London or if they're Sao Paulo, it's going to recognize. It's going to know uh, what what their code is. So if you've got international buyers, by all means, include them. Here, the Facebook calls it CT city and state there you go state and also i believe in here it's state or province so for you canadians if you want to include the province uh you can do that as well country country is pretty self-explanatory now i've also used completely spelled out country names united states great britain france and and that's fine too it knows that too um date of birth date of birth year gender age uh, unique ID. I, I don't think most people are going to have those. If you do have those, by all means, include them and way to go in your record keeping. But if you don't, it's all right. You can, you don't need those. And so in my sheet, I don't have them. I'm getting rid of them. And then we're left with our last column here, column here, which is value, right? That's what they call it, value. Uh, to keep things simple, let's just go LTV, lifetime value. And you can see in this format, there's not dollar signs here. I believe I've imported them before without dollar signs, but this is what Facebook's got going on. So let's Let's stick to this format. I'm just gonna go ahead and file save as, put it on my desktop, call it whatever, LTV, LTV, great, done, love it, and save. Yes, 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 now let's go back here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, now that we have this complete file, we're gonna go ahead and upload it. So let's go to the desktop, LTV, open. Okay, so now we have our LTV, audience it's in there we're going to want to give it a name i usually like personally just doing a date ltv upload all right there we go and all right select origin of this upload so this became a new thing after facebook got their their hand caught in the cookie jar with the cambridge analytica things neither here nor there uh you want to say directly from customers you got the data directly from customers so then you're going to go ahead and click next and this is where you're going to go ahead and map the columns in your spreadsheet to what Facebook is looking for. And so what it's asking me for is customer value, select your customer value column. So here I am in LTV. And actually, now that I think about it, that's one thing I screwed up on. I should probably explain a little bit more. So 
this is where you put in the orders. And so let's just say that Elizabeth here, um, she's, she's ordered one piece for $1,000. I forgot to say this. So there's $1,000 for her piece. And this guy's ordered $50 piece. And this guy's ordered a $50 piece. And this gal's ordered a $75 piece. And this one is your, your super fan, your amazing collector. They've ordered $10,000 in pieces. Okay, great. These guys ordered nothing. So we're going to put nothing in there. So I should have put that in this spreadsheet before. Sorry, my, my mistake. But that's how you input the LTV into this column. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Don't hesitate to put the zero values. Um, like I said in the podcast, these are these are just as important, can be just as important as signal to Facebook as putting in the 10,000 or 100,000 or whatever that is. So forgot to do that step. Make sure you do that step. Okay, so now we've mapped the column to LTV. I'm going to go ahead and click next. And you can see because we used Facebook's super clean, super clean, what am I saying? Super clean naming, um, you know, the headers, these things, email, 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 phone, FN, whatever. It's, it's automatically, it knows what all of these are in, in cases where, you know, you're going to put email address and it doesn't say it, it's, it's easy. You just map them here manually. It's really easy. So even if your spreadsheet is not perfect in the headers, don't feel like you need to change them. You can just do this. So here it is. I can see it's picked up all the columns. It's got country. It's got state and province for the Canadians. It's got city. It's got zip postal code, last name, first name, phone number, phone number, email, email. It's got all of those things. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is click upload and create. Canceling this process before the file finishes uploading may result in an incomplete audience. So don't do that. Now, it takes a while for Facebook to go ahead and match all of these people and you know my experience it's like 30 minutes or so 30 minutes 45 minutes so what i usually do is i don't like to create a lookalike right away this is just me being superstitious um, it says that you can it's obviously encouraging you to do so but what we want to do is wait till this thing is finished updating the audience right and so you kind of just come back here a little bit later and then just to be just to be complete maybe i'll pause this and then come back and create the lookalike once it's done so i'll see you in a bit Okay, we're back and it's done. You can see there it is, our LTV upload. Uh, it's good to go. It says fewer than a thousand records and that's okay. We're going to ignore that for a moment. Now, well, we might as well stay on it. So literally had the call with the Facebook rep yesterday. Um, I have an account, a specific, specific rep and, and, and I asked, I was like, break it down for me. What is the minimum number? What is the minimum number your audience size can and should be in order for this lookalike to really work? And her feelings were she's seen some people getting fantastic results with as few as a thousand. And I know that number still sounds really big and really daunting for a lot of you out there, but that's okay. You have to start somewhere. And like I said, you can still make the audience much smaller numbers. You have 150, give it a shot, throw it in. And like I said, you can combine it with other audiences and we'll have some follow-up material on that. But for now, let's stay focused on creating the lookalike. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to go create lookalike audience. And you can see I've got this slider here. Always stick stick to one to start. Um, we're going to pick this LTV list that we uploaded today. Uh, and then we're going to have to pick location. Now, what you want to do is you want to pick all of the countries that you're targeting. Now, I think for most people, this is going to be United States and Canada, let's just say, right? And so we're going to go ahead, select those two, look alike California, estimated reach 2.3 million, great. Um, let's go ahead and, and there's advanced options for now. Let's not worry about that. We're going to just create our audiences. We're going to do the United States and Canada, and then I'll come back to you guys that have other countries in a second. Actually, let's just talk about it now. You can make a lookalike, an individual lookalike for each country that you're potentially doing business in. So say you're a Mexican artist and you have a large Spanish audience and you speak Spanish. So you're able to write creative in Spanish. Then you would do an audience for Mexico and you would do an audience for the United States and you would split your creative insert whatever other country you might have um, at your disposal and that you're selling to. So for now, we're going to do Canada and United States. We're going to go ahead and create an audience. And off it goes. Source is too small. Please choose a source that has at least 100 people in the same country. So because the list that we used has, what, 10 people in it, it's it's not going to let me create it. And that's okay. Your your list, it's, you can see right here, it needs 100 people minimum. So make sure you have at least 100 people minimum in there. Throw in your personal connections, uh, uh, your friends, your family, whoever the case might be. Uh, get, get everybody in there that you can to get at least an initial list going. So 100 is the minimum there. And that's it. Once that's done, you'll end up with a list like this one. This was from some other training that we did. And you can use that list in your ad targeting. Uh, when you go to create an ad, you can reference this audience and you can show those people ads. And there you go.
That's how you create the LTV audience in Facebook.